Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a, a solemn event that here we are gathering to remember the exile of uh, Crimean Tatars from 1944, 72 years ago, and yet we're also here to raise awareness, uh, as so eloquently already uh, demonstrated and spoken about by the previous speakers, with Boris and the Ambassador. We have to take a strong stand against these human rights abuses. And when you really look at how countries and regimes like Putin's kleptocracy and how they target first and foremost ethnic and religious minorities. This is why human rights abuses, the freedom of religion has to be stood up for around the world. And Canada must be a leader on this in every step of the way. When, when Russia illegally invaded, illegally occupied, and illegally annexed Crimea, the first group they targeted were the Tatars. They went after their mosques, took away their freedom of religion, took away their freedom of association by like shutting down their own legislative buildings, the Mejli. They went and shut down their freedom of press by going after the newspapers, the radio stations, and television stations. And this just again demonstrates how these totalitarian regimes really do start eroding away the individual rights and freedoms and the collective rights and freedoms of religious and ethnic minority groups. We have to tell Putin that he has to get out of Ukraine. He has to get out of the Donbass. He has to get out of Crimea. And he has to allow all Crimean Tatars to return to their homeland as the people of Ukraine opened their doors uh, when, when the migration started to come back, when the Soviet Union fell apart. So let's remember all the victims that are suffering today. Let's remember all those who were forcibly removed from Crimea and those who died in their migration to, uh, the, the, to, to Kazakhstan and even in, in, into Siberia. Um, the, the incredible hard life that, that so many had to live through. Because this type of human rights abuse cannot be tolerated and requires the strongest stand possible that our countries and our allies and the United Nations can take. Slavia, <laughs> <laughs>